As part of its efforts to raise awareness on the impact of landmines and an exploded ordinance in South Sudan, the United Nations Mine Action Service, or UNMAS, a component of the United Nations mission in South Sudan, working in the country, organized a 10-kilometer run on April 4th, attracting over 300 runners who all made it to the finishing line. The early morning start for these runners was mostly about fun and understanding that landmines which dot South Sudan are indeed dangerous. For Emmanuel Kiri, who from the start ran hard and maintained his lead throughout the race, finishing in first place came as a surprise. It is not meant for competition, actually, but uh, it is meant only for creating awareness. The first female finisher said her participation allowed her a better understanding of the magnitude of contamination by landmines and an exploded ordinance throughout the country. So I registered because there's so many mines in South Sudan. So when we signed up for the race, the uh, unmasked guys showed us around uh, some of the mines they'd collected and where there's still live mines in South Sudan. My mind was just blown. I didn't realize it was such a huge problem, and it is. It's huge. So it's really important to raise awareness of it. It was a run by many nationalities. Among them were South Sudanese, whose compatriots have borne the brand of landmines and an exploded ordinance. <laughs> According to the United Nations Mine Action Service, decades of conflict still ongoing have littered vast swaths of land with explosive hazards. ANMA says that since its inception in 2004, it has surveyed, cleared and released 1.192 billion square meters of land back to the South Sudanese people. However, landmines and other explosive hazards still pose a danger and inhibit movement. We've just passed 5,000 people killed or injured by landmines and unexploded ordnance in this country. That's a pretty significant mi milestone that was passed in, in March. And those accidents have been suffered all over South Sudan. Um, they, they don't just cause injury, suffering, death, but they inhibit the delivery of aid. They stop the mission from doing its, its work and, and they stop the, uh, the charities and humanitarian actors from getting down roads to deliver food to rebuild schools, to um, install safe water points. Every aspect of humanitarian assistance is impacted by the presence of, of mines and ongoing fighting. In support of the day and the campaign to rid the country of these explosive hazards, the head of the United Nations mission in South Sudan recognized the difficult tasks the miners bear while paying tribute to those who have died while clearing mines. This is a big deal. UNMAS does a great job and its success is measured in what doesn't happen. So when people aren't injured or killed by unexploded ordnance, it's success for them. And uh, what we should be doing is taking our hat off to them because they do a, an unsung job right across the country. UNMAS continues raising awareness worldwide, making it safe for populations to live normally and humanitarian convoys to deliver aid. In South Sudan, it is an integral part of their work to support the mission in achieving its role as mandated by Security Council Resolution 2406 of 2018.